Yo, what's up? This is Zach Bowman. And I'm Jesse Forte. We are Cast of Kings. And you're watching The Christine Saw Show. She's got a rhythm and swing. Yeah, you know what I mean. She's got a rhythm and swing. What up? We're Cast of Kings. Jin Jao Kui V. And Chukmung Namai. I think that was too, like, Anchorman. Chukmung Namai. <laughs> Another news. My favorite Vietnamese food is bông bao hoi. I think it's I think it's awesome that uh, you know young Vietnamese Americans are getting together, uh, you know, to enjoy popular music, uh, you know, like especially the in you know, the forms of like rock. Our sound is a lot like the night before a hangover. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you know our big our main influences are like early Aerosmith before they got sober. Good for them though. Mm -hmm. um, just the good 70s, 80s, 90s, the whole shebang. It's all great. <laughs> You can get more information about Cast of Kings at uh, our MySpace, which is uh, myspace.com backslash Cast of Kings. Uh, send us a message if you can't come on out to a show we got coming up. Love to see you there. Hi everybody, my name is V, I am the lead singer of Mavi and Bliss. This is one of my producers, Chris Corman. He is one half of the production duo from EMI, Beat Royalty. I have been singing ever since I could speak. And I remember being, I don't know, maybe three years old and singing in front of a church. <laughs> and um, I grew up as the youngest of eight kids. And so there was all kinds of music in my house. I mean, there was rock and metal in one room. There was new wave in another room. There was like hip hop in another. And so I just, you know, and I, I just was always, um, I always wanted to sing. I'm very proud and happy to say that I have toured with some amazing, amazing artists. I uh, sing background for Eric Benet. He um, is an amazing R&B singer. I sing background for Christina Aguilera, so everybody knows who she is, and she's a wonderful talent. And I got to tour um, all over South America with a Latina superstar, Paulina Rubio. And I got to sing in Spanish, so it, that was amazing. Ma Vienne is actually a play on the French term ma, which means my. V is life in French, and ma Vienne, so it's my life in bliss. And so um, the sound is uh, just happy dance pop, just a lot of fun uh, sounds and, uh, you know, upbeat. It's a lot, got a lot of spirit, a lot of energy, and um, with a lot of fun lyrics, you know, talking about life and love and all kinds of fun stuff. So. That's uh, that's kind of how I envision my uh, the Mavi and Bliss sound. just mimic anything I heard. And so I started taking piano lessons when I was six, and I really loved that. I took lessons for about eight years, and then I did the teenager thing and got bored and just wanted to quit because I was playing nothing but classical. And then I started to write music when I was in high school. 
And um, that was a really awesome outlet for me, um, especially because I went to a performing arts high school and um, we did like musical theater and dance and, and writing music was a way for me to kind of stand out from the rest of my peers. And then when I was in college, um, I, I got to work with a lot of, of my friends who were starting bands and were doing all kinds of really progressive, really cool, fresh music. So that really contributed to who I am as an artist, just being around just so much creativity and freedom, you know, because I think college is a time to really just uh, do whatever you want and express yourself and rebel and, you know, that kind of thing. So that's kind of my uh, experience with music. Um, I love Paris by Night and I love um, all those wonderful uh, videos that my parents buy um, by the dozen and we have, actually have a huge collection at home um, and I've always admired the artists. Uh, the reason why I haven't uh, really uh, been a part of it is um, because I've been working so hard in the American music industry as a background singer and as a writer. Um, I've just, my energies have been focused elsewhere, and also, um, <laughs> I'm working on it, but my Vietnamese is terrible. I mean, it's like I speak well enough to order in a restaurant, and I, and I speak well enough to, you know, uh, make the older generation think, oh, she's so cute, but, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm pretty bad. So I think I feel, and also my father, who is actually one of my biggest fans, um, I tried to sing a song in Vietnamese once when I was uh, younger, and he said, "Gong ah, gong ca yoi lam, ma gong đừng có ca tiếng Việt Nam, con ca tiếng Việt Nam dở quá." So I was so embarrassed. I was like, "Okay, I'll, I'll never sing in Vietnamese," and so that's pretty much why I figured, "Okay, I'll go where I can do the job," you know. <laughs> so the importance of this show for the upcoming generation is that the the kids who were born here, like I was, um, we we are much more Americanized than the generations that immigrated here. And so we grew up on very Americanized art and, and music and culture. And so um, I feel that this will be important because this will be the bridge between being Vietnamese and being Vietnamese in America. And listening to music that is of the caliber and the quality that they're used to seeing on MTV, I think this will be really, it would, um, provide a point of relation, like being able to relate. So uh, I think it's really important to have this show, that to show that we, as a culture, that we really are growing and evolving into a new community. It's not just, you know, Vietnamese America, it's really a culture of American Vietnamese. And so, um, and also I think too, the American pop uh, world, I think more and more Asians are coming into the scene and getting support from our own community is going to really help put Asians in the eye of the world the same way Ricky Martin and Mark Anthony and all these Latin superstars came up at the same time. I think it's time for a lot of Asians to show up too. So I think it's really, really critical for this show to take place. Oh, and um, my, my parents, they just wanted me to have a safe path. You know, I think in Vietnamese culture, they, uh, our parents really care that we have a, a wonderful, stable career, and music is just so unstable and scary for them, they don't understand it. I mean, our parents came from a war-torn country, and they came here with nothing and had to build everything all up again. So the safe routes for them was always a career in engineering, in medicine, in law, um, and being an artist. Just, yeah, that's completely unheard of. So they My were parents are more used to the idea, they're not happy about it, but <laughs> I don't know, maybe when I buy them their house, their dream house, and they'll be happy.